Lao86 here and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the top five things that Chinese girls love. Number five, Chinese girls love being thin. Well, I feel like every girl around the world wants to be thin. Yeah, but our goal is trying our best to be a piece of paper. Be as thin as a piece of paper? Yes. An ideal weight for a Chinese girl is less than 100 pounds. If you cross the line, man, girl, you're in trouble. That's pretty sick, like a less than 100 pounds. Like, there's a lot of different height girls and everything, and they all want to be that thin. Yeah, that's basically everybody's target. Well, if you want to be that thin, what kind of things do Chinese girls do to lose weight? We basically start ourselves. Chinese girls don't like exercise. Okay, so that's that's healthy. That's great. <laughs> Just starve yourself. Yeah, but think about it. Muscle actually weighs a lot. That's true. Muscle does weigh a lot. And it's painful to do exercise, isn't it? I've also seen a lot of Chinese girls using some really crazy contraptions and tools. I see commercials about crazy weight loss techniques all the time. But I feel like because photography is so popular here in China, I see a lot of girls using tools and apps to actually make themselves look thinner. If we can't lose weight in our real life, we'll try to look better in the pictures. I've seen girls use these apps to actually give themselves really, really sharp, thin faces. And it doesn't look good at all. Also the legs. Long, long leg. Just stretch it out. <laughs> Number four. Chinese girl love being white. Chinese girls love being white. So how do you go about actually changing your own race? No, it's not about that. But <laughs> like I can't say, I can't deny a lot of Asian girl actually love how white girls look. First, Chinese girl love being white. It's like skin white. We don't want to uh, let people thinking we're poor. If you were a farmer in a class-based society such as China, you would go out in the sun and work in the fields all day and you get dark skin. And what does that tell the people around you? Well, it tells them that you're a poor farmer. So still today, having white skin is considered a high class trait. Yes, correct. Even a lot of makeup stuff and product, whatever. The obsession with being white is so pervasive that when I first met you, I wondered why you took out an umbrella <laughs> in the middle of summer when that's, the sun is beating down. That's not cause umbrella. That cause umbrella. <laughs> so basically, Chinese women use sunbrellas to hold over themselves to keep the sun out so they can preserve their pasty white skin. It burned our skin. Chinese girl do whatever it takes to become white. Right now, the most popular makeup technique is we make shadows. Shadows. So basically, the goal of this makeup is to make you look like you are an Asian girl that has been mixed with a white girl. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes we're willing even change our lens color blue, green, yellow. So I guess our future child is going to be quite popular here in China. Absolutely. <laughs> nice. Number three, Chinese girl love taking picture of food. Oh, I hate this one. I swear to God, if you go on the Chinese version of Facebook and look at people's daily feeds, it is literally only pictures of food. We have things like tiny cakes. We have things like little pastries and things that aren't even, that don't even look delicious. Shut up. We're trying to keep our memory, isn't it? These are not things you're going to remember regardless. I don't understand why it has to be solidified in social media. It's art. One of the most annoying things about going out, especially on a date with a Chinese girl, is when you're really, really hungry and you just want to dig into that food at that restaurant. She'll say, no, stop, stop, wait. And everyone has to wait. <laughs> nobody move. I gotta take a picture. Uh, and the worst thing is, is that nobody actually looks at these pictures. I don't understand. Well, we will. <laughs> Number two, Chinese girl love doctoring selfies. Doctoring selfies. I would say that taking selfies is definitely a thing that is persistent around the world, but I've never seen it see the extreme of Chinese girls. I swear to God, in every situation, you find a flower, it's a selfie. You stand in front of a boring building, you take a selfie. You get in a taxi, you take a selfie. Everywhere is a selfie. The big issue around the selfie phenomenon here in China is that girls go to the most extreme measures after they take the picture to make themselves more and more beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's actually an app called Meitu. Mm -hmm. I have seen girls do some of the most atrocious things that make themselves like glowing with sharp faces and bug eyes and they think they're absolutely gorgeous. But I think it looks ridiculous. Eyes bigger, the better. Face wider, the better. <laughs> Whatever. The legs longer, the better. Yes, everything. Better, better, better. 
I have a challenge for you. Mm -hmm. Let's use Mei Tu to take a picture of each other. Aww. And you're gonna use your Chinese girl techniques to make me pretty, okay? Or just make, just make me look good. And I'm gonna make you look good too, okay? <laughs> Alright. Okay, Vivi, you're first. Give me a nice little picture. Okay, your turn, mister. Okay, Vivi, I'm done with your photo here. Why don't you have a look? <gasps> what? Promise me. Never shared to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you have ruined it looks my great. life. <laughs> Let me see yours. You are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I I I don't want to say this, but I would make a really disgusting woman. I would not be pretty at all. Well, I appreciate this. Though. You're not supposed to be. <laughs> Matt, what are you doing? Sorry, I can't stop looking at this photo. I feel like I could do a better job by making myself prettier in real life. I don't know the techniques. I need some beauty products. If you catch me fishing around in your makeup drawer, uh, it's your fault. You got me started. You made me really self-conscious. Number one, Chinese girl love doing professional photo shoots. Don't give me bad memories about our wedding photographs, all right? <laughs> <laughs> there are some seriously scary memories from when I had to stand outside in a over a hundred degree weather wearing traditional Chinese clothing, basically wearing dresses, in preserving a memory that I didn't even want to remember. Well, you gotta realize that if I'm still a Chinese girl, first of all, the second is like, men in those photo shoots basically their decorations. <laughs> this is true, let's be honest, it's all about the girl, isn't it? Yeah, um, there is lots of lots of occasion we can try our best to fit in those photo shoots. For example, friendships, for example, youth, when we turn 20 or 25 or 30, and uh, maybe pregnancy photos, and even like maybe we start to want to get married, but which we don't even have a boyfriend, and we'll try to get the <laughs> wedding dress photo shoots. Hold on, yeah. I gotta take this off. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Continue. Sorry about that, guys. It's good to be pretty. I smell like a damn cucumber. Yeah. I've seen girls do professional photo shoots and spend a lot of money, in all income brackets, to preserve memories of the most ridiculous occasions. Yes. I have seen girls almost get completely naked and hold a bunch of teddy bears in front of professional cameras. And they're like nice girls too. I hope you enjoyed this list of the top five things that Chinese girls love. And if it's not what you expected, because clearly some of these broke my expectations of Chinese girls when I came here, go on and check out a video I did with Serpent ZA Winston on our Churchill Customs channel. It's a really cool series where we ride around China on motorcycles and we talk about hot topics that you guys introduced to us. Thank you so much, Lawiness. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. High five! High five!